Hello everyone. So far you have learned about nature, steps and few variations of three step interview strategy. This strategy can be used at various situations. It can be used if learners have prior exposure to the topic or they have experience in the field. Even if teacher intends to capture students reaction or opinion on any poem or an article this strategy proves to be very useful some of the experts also advocate use of this strategy for summing up the session it is said that cooperative learning strategies are proved to be very effective if planned and executed well thus planning and implementation play crucial role let us take a look at the points one should consider before planning three step interview strategy teacher should keep in mind some key points while planning for three step interview strategy these points are associated with three skills namely skill of asking question skill of managing time and skill of recording responses Now we will take an account of all these three skills. Let us begin with questioning skill. Students need to have good questioning skill in order to participate effectively in this strategy. If students do not possess the skill of questioning, they will not be able to extract information from their partners. Thus, before planning for this activity, teacher needs to introduce questioning skill to the students she should introduce them to different type of questions like wh and how type of questions or yes no type questions she may also give them some exercise wherein they can prepare both open and close ended questions This will equip students for participation in the strategy. The second skill is the skill of managing time. Here two points are to be considered. First, teacher should reinforce the need of take time. And second is determining length of each interview. teacher should teach students to take appropriate time for answering questions or for giving responses she should make it clear in the beginning itself that time should be managed effectively there are two possibilities first student might take very long time while answering question or the second possibility is student might push his or her partner into a rapid fire round in order to obtain maximum information let's see what will happen in both the possibilities if students take too much time in answering one question then their team will surely lose on important information and in second possibility student might not get enough opportunity to give proper answer thus teacher should bring this issue to the notice of students and she may ask them to have blend of open and close ended questions this will allow students to manage their time in an effective manner they might answer some questions in just yes or no format in order to cross check some of the important information and elaborate on few 
In addition to this, depending on the age of the students and their experience with this cooperative learning technique, teacher may adjust the length of time for the interview. This will allow learners to take appropriate time for giving proper answers. Third and the final skill is the skill of recording responses. Teacher should teach learners to take notes and noting down key points from the answer. She might also teach students to make use of recording sheets for better recording of responses. After effective planning, care must be taken while implementing the strategy. One should consider following factors while implementing three-step interview strategy in the classroom. Assigning roles Teacher may allow students to take up roles of interviewer and interviewee as per their comfort. This might act as a psychological support and can increase learners' involvement. Time limit Students might be using too much time for the interviews. That's why teacher should set time limit for each interview and then strictly disconnect the interview. Pairing of group Here, teacher may not focus on heterogeneous grouping every time. But, if used, then it can work in favor. Giving Hints While working in this strategy, students need to ask precise and appropriate questions. Thus, teacher can equip students with questioning skill. But if students fail to generate enough or appropriate questions, then teacher may give hints or clues to students. Teacher's Intervention The intervention by the teacher should be restricted. She should intervene whenever and wherever essential. Instructions Teacher may give clear and precise instruction to avoid chaos during the activity. This will also allow student to be more focused. For younger students, teacher may write down instructions on the blackboard to aid students in the process. End of the activity Post-activity discussion plays a crucial role in learning of students. There are possibilities that some students might fail to understand the concept or the topic completely during the activity. So, a good discussion session or good summarizing at the end of the activity helps such students in getting better and holistic picture. Ensuring learning Teachers should evaluate or give assignment in order to ensure learning.